It is the air in your lungs, the blood in your veins. A modern retelling of a traditional story. Author Fatihiriaka has written a novel inspired by the tale of Kura Naituku, the fearsome bird woman, and Hatupatu, a hero of Te Aroa. Hiriaka recently held a reading at Rotorua MacLeod's bookshop to share her work as part of the Aronui Arts Festival. In the traditional telling of Hatupatu and the bird woman, Kurangaituku is the bird woman. So um, she's like this ogreous kind of monster almost, so half bird, half woman. woman. Um, she has been, she's been um, collecting birds and other things for many years and she comes across Hatupatu in the forest and she takes him home as well. So in the traditional story he fools her into um, leaving her, her place and he takes her treasures and then runs off um, but then uh, Kurangaituku comes after him and like hunts him down. Legend has it that Hatupatu was hunted by the bird woman from Lake Atiamuru in Taupo to Whakarewarewa in Rotorua where she met her fate inside the hot pools. I grew up in Taupo and we were always coming to Rotorua to visit Fano. So we'd come the Atiamuru way and stop off at the rock and the Parako would always come up, would always be talking about the story and I guess from a young age, I've always been a hoha, <laughs> been an, the annoying kid that always asks why, why, why. So I was always interested in her story, um, and that kind of interest never left me. So I wanted to write her story. Historically, Kura Naituku's story ends when she is burned. However, in Hiriaka's novel, she has taken the bird woman into Rarohinga or the underworld. Her journey through Rarohinga, meeting all, all different atua, um, and just really exploring the unknown parts of, of the underworld, so um, where spirits go. Um, so in my book I have kind of arranged the rarohinga into like layers, almost like whakapapa I guess, so it's, it's layers of learning. So as, as the spirits go through the rarohinga they learn how to not be, how to unexist themselves. So by the time they get to metal at the, at the end of their journey They've sort of come to peace with being part of the universe rather than being an individual. So yeah, we go th with Kurangaituku through Rarohinga um, and she meets Hatupatu again th at some point in, in Rarohinga and she has to work out some issues with him. So yeah, part of it is it's sort of like a chase through Rarohinga which is kind of exciting I think. Kura Naituku has been shortlisted for the prestigious Fiction Prize at this year's Ockham Book Awards. Delilah Faitari, Local Focus.